Quiet on set. Shh. We on set. Quiet on the set. On today's episode of Ness and Fit, we're figuring out what it takes to be a UFC fighter and what better way to learn than from the guys who do it every single day. <laughs> A typical day of training is, you know, I usually wake up, uh, do a little cardio at the gym, uh, maybe lift some weights here and there, um, and then after that, um, go to stick your tongue, uh, hit some hit some pads, roll around with um, other fighters, and so that's a typical day of uh, training. I'm always, you know, training at Somerville with, with Mark Delagradi, with my Muay Thai, uh, my boxing, um, a lot of Jiu Jitsu, a lot of wrestling, just. Putting it all together and trying to stay um, well-rounded. Yeah, so I, I was delivering pizza in Tampa, Florida. Uh, delivered to a garage one day, and uh, there was a couple guys, you know, in the mats uh, in the garage rolling around. And I, you know, asked them what's going on with, it, with what they were doing, and they broke, pretty much broke it down to me. Um, showed me where to go, uh, what people to see, and then um, went to the gym and didn't even do the tryout. Just signed up. I went to high school in um, Madison Park High and my grades wasn't doing too well. I had a lot of bad environment in all my uh, neighborhood. You know? My guidance counselor suggested me to go to Job Corps to become an electrician, and that's what I did. But in Job Corps, I met this guy named James Stokes, who was a massive grappler. I didn't know what grappling was. You know, I had some boxing, you know, there's some boxing in Dorchester. So I was like, I'll box with you. So we spotted him. He just whipped my butt, constantly tapping me out, making me scream. And I got so mad frustrated. I asked him, how are you doing this to me? And he taught me basis of uh, freestyle grappling, from wrestling to jiu-jitsu and submission grappling and from there. I, I ran with it. I fell in summer's level. I just ran with it and took it to the next level. And uh, first gym I came was, um, you know, Somerville at Sea Thong and, and same thing. Didn't even do the trial, signed up and just been here ever since. I used to be a little chubby, you know. Um, definitely had a, had the beer belly. So uh, definitely lost a lot of weight, got a ton of energy every day now so um, you know if you're interested in MMA I definitely would highly recommend trying any type of uh, martial arts but definitely MMA. I feel great I feel like an 18 year old again I'm 32 right now and I feel, feel like a young man again. You get a little bit of everything you know you get the jitsu the wrestling you get to put it all together and you'll find your you know what you're good at you might think you're good at um, boxing but you might be better on the ground you know John's been giving me great advice since you know I was in the local scene I was seeing him at all the local shows he'll give me nothing but great advice um, you know he's like a big brother to me me and Rob Pump we spar all the time we sometimes we try to knock each other out but in the day we hug and we go drink beers and chill stuff like that if you love the sport if you like anything you have the discipline for it go for it you know don't let nobody reach your own goals set your own goals and just go for it and I'm a living proof of that you know